everyone and um, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah if we haven't had the pleasure of meeting before and today I'm going to be speaking a bit about why I decided to take a gap year. So I was thinking about taking gap year for quite a long time, probably from around like year nine to kind of time. I, it, I'd thought about taking gap year. Um, then I'd gone off the idea because when I decided what degree I wanted to study, I was very interested in my degree and really wanted to kind of get on with studying and learning um, what I was going to be able to learn at university. Then it got to the summer um, after year 12, um, before um, year 13, when I was starting to think about UCAS and things like that, and I knew that I needed to make a decision about whether or not I was going to take this year out. And um, I was seeking advice of friends and my youth pastor and um, kind of got to a place where I realised I could do it, I could not. If I did it and the worst came to worse and I just kind of spent a year at home, would I really lose that much? On the other hand, if I didn't take this year out, um, I wouldn't. Be put, I wouldn't be gaining anything and so it, when it came down to it I realised that actually um, I was much more likely to regret it if I didn't take it, um, if I didn't take this opportunity and um, there wasn't really much that could go wrong when, I, when it kind of got down to it and yeah I was just much more likely to regret not taking it than taking it so why not let's do it, let's take a gap year. However, I still knew I wanted to study at university, I knew where I wanted to study, and so I still applied with everyone else. In um, So my application went in for UCAS of October 2018, it would have been. Um, and I applied from, from then for October 2020 entry. Um, so it was all sorted. I know a lot of people, when they take gap years, they wait until they get their A-level results or until that summer and then they phone up their university and say that they want to defer their place. I however already knew that I wanted to take a gap year and for other reasons that I'll explain later I had to apply for 2020 entry from the beginning so that was all done and dusted. So I'm going to start by talking about kind of the reasons that I was maybe fearful of taking a gap year or apprehensive um yeah about kind of the negatives of maybe taking gap year and for me the main reason that I was worried about taking a gap year was how it would affect my university application. Um, I was applying for Oxbridge and I wasn't sure how they'd view it and um, actually it really wasn't an issue at all. When I went on open days they explained that they much prefer it if you apply from the beginning for your gap year which makes a lot of sense, particularly for my course, as at each college, really, you only have one to three students on my course. And so if people defer, that kind of messes up their numbers quite a lot. So they just prefer to know in advance, which is fair enough. Um, so that actually didn't really affect my university application at all, taking gap year. Um, they, as long as, actually, they didn't really care what you were doing when you were a gap year, to be honest. Um, and I think that's more of an art student thing. I'm doing an arts degree and I think that means that they don't really mind. I don't think they, I might be wrong, but I don't think they like it as much if you're a science student um, because of the year out and knowledge and stuff, which was the other kind of concern of mine was taking a year out of the world of academia, um, how I would then... Um, kind of transition back into it which we have yet to see um, how that goes we'll see hopefully in October I will still be able to go to university so um, yeah and I don't think that's been too bad I mean I'm not sitting around doing nothing for a year I am still engaging my mind I'm reading a lot I'm getting ahead with ancient Greek maybe um, yeah so I'm not doing nothing but that was my other concern was that I would just kind of forget how to essay particularly um it's gonna be interesting well I mean I'm sure university degrees are different to A-level degrees anyway 
of essays, sorry. University essays are different to A-level essays, but we shall see in October how that fares. Positive reasons why I wanted to take a gap year. Number one reason was just time. Um, life is so busy and non-stop and I, I particularly did a lot of things while I was at school, took part in a lot of activities and I just really wanted a year to just kind of slow down a bit and really consider um, me, <laughs> go and find myself as it were. Um, but no, just to really take time to to read books that I wanted to read, to, to rediscover hobbies that I've kind of lost, particularly over A-levels and the hard work that went into that. And just really kind of not be in the constant wheel of stuff like you're born you grow up you go to school and then you go to university and then you get a job and I just wanted some time to just kind of step back a bit almost and kind of survey life I guess sounds a bit deep but yeah I just wanted some time to kind of slow down and assess things and um also just time to particularly deepen my relationship with God before I went on to study theology at a secular university I really just wanted to make sure that in myself I was very confident of what I believe and um, not that I'm not open to being challenged but just that I was very secure in my relationship with Jesus um, to enter university I really wanted that to be a priority this year um, also, I just kind of wanted to experience the adult world a bit, which I don't think I realised when I first kind of decided I wanted to take a gap year, but it is one of the things that I've really enjoyed about taking this year out, is just my eyes being opened to the world outside of education, I guess, and when you're at school, to be honest, that's what you can really think about, and, like, no, through no fault of anyone really it is just very self insular and so just having the opportunity to meet new people and to just have my eyes open to the whole world that's out there another reason I wanted to take a gap year was just to meet new people to make some new friends not that I didn't love my friends that I already had but just um, particularly with what I'm doing on my gap year just to meet some people who really share my core beliefs, what's important to me, um, some people who are just very similarly minded, although also it's very good to meet people and make friends with people who are not similarly minded to you. I just really wanted to make some really core friendships to then kind of help me journey through the rest of my life and I definitely have met some really amazing people so far this year. Um, Shout out to my housemates in particular, Shona and Miriam. Much love. But yeah, and kind of finally, um, one of the last reasons I really wanted to take a gap year was just to kind of give a year to God, almost, as it were. Um, particularly at the end of A-levels, I had really been studying hard as, well, you won't have to this year because a lot more exams, but... Um, when you do have to do A-levels, you have to work very, quite hard for them. And so in that, I think I'd kind of lost um, some of the time that I would have liked to have been serving others and giving to others. And so I really um, value the experience this year of being able to, to serve others and to serve God with this year and just give it to him and say, I'm here, use me. Um, yeah. So that's kind of why I decided to take a gap year, or a gap year. Um, I might make another video about kind of what I've been up to so far. Obviously things have changed a bit in the last month, but kind of what my year was planned to be, what it has been so far, what it might be. Um, yeah, so I might make another video about that. Look out for that in the future. Um, but yeah. I hope you're all staying home and staying safe. Um, yeah, God bless.